Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Tell within the DAW. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the brand new version 2 of the UJAM Virtual Drummer series. Now, for those of you who have been a long-time viewer of this channel, one of the first virtual instruments for drums that I ever did videos on were on the Virtual Drummer series. I did one for the Solid Gold, for Heavy, and for the Fat. And I even did a bunch of videos on it for Plugin Boutique. Now, the one thing that I didn't like about the Virtual Drummer series was that you were stuck with a stereo output, meaning that if you wanted to process any of the instruments individually, you would have to solo up the tracks, bounce that section down, solo up the next one, bounce it down, and then you would have to obviously uh, do that to every single one. Luckily, with the brand new version of Virtual Drummer, you now have the ability to do individual outputs. And it's really easy. All you have to do is click on the instrument, and you set it to individual. Then in your DAW, if I expand this out, you can see my output routing right here and I can rename it, do whatever I want. But what this does is this allows you to have a lot of control over the tone. You still are able to switch between all of the different types of drum kits. And that's one thing that you're able to do now that's very special. I can now click on the kicks, make it A, B, C, or D. And uh, let's show you by soloing up the kick and playing just a kick. Right, that's C, let's try A, and then D. Pretty simple, right? You're now able to switch between them. We can do the same thing with the snare, with the toms, the hi-hats, rides, crashes, even the overheads. Everything can be set to its individual output, meaning that it bypasses the master section, which also has the mix presets, the reverbs, the saturation, and the maximizer built in. But that's not all. You're now able to use the same styles as before, only they've updated some and they've added a bunch more. You now have a bunch of really cool flexible ones, all with the same layout, but they've also given us the ability to export those styles and those MIDI grooves into our DAWs. So the way that that works is, uh, let's say we normally want to play something like this uh, chorus section. And let's say we really like that. We can now go on this top section, drag it down and add it to our DAW. This allows us to be able to double click it and modify it any way we want. This is great because we can now add fills. You know, we can do something crazy like that. That probably sounds horrible. Yeah, that sounds horrible, but you can now do that all across the board. This also means that we can now export the MIDI grooves and put them into other drum software or mix and match styles. So let's say we really like a uh, groove in this style, but we want something else in a different one like the uh, train beat. We can easily now take the train beats grooves, put it into our DAW and switch them up. It's great and it's really powerful. Now this update obviously goes across the board. Uh, fat, heavy, and solid will all have this update, but I am planning on doing videos on every single one of them. I'm just gonna be focusing on solid right now because it's the one that I use in this session. And really quickly, let's just see how this sounds. What I did is make every one of these instruments go into their individual outputs, and then I routed them out and just put a channel strip on each one to process them the way I wanted to. So let's listen to their individual processing without anything going on. We'll solo them up and just listen to them raw. As you can hear, they sound really good. They do sound like a good, solid, uh, kind of indie style drum kit. And now since I have my own custom channel strip that I can do my own custom processing on each one, we can make them sound like this. Really cool, right? I've gotten these really nice, really great sounding samples and transformed them to sound really good, really punchy. And now we can have them in a mix and they can sound really cool. Let's take a quick listen to this mix. Cool, so that sounds really good. I really like the way that this sounds and they have kept the CPU hit extremely small on this. We have a really good sounding uh, sample library in this uh, where we have 
basically five different types of drum kits that we can use. We can switch between the different types right here, A, B, C, and D, which is technically four, but it gives us five options right here, basically giving us uh, little blends. Um, we can bypass the mix presets. Uh, we can go through the mix presets. It's giving us a ton of options. And of course, because we have the ability to have the main outs activated, we can turn those on and have a parallel mix where we have the master section with the crazy uh, processing with the mix presets, and we can blend that in. So it's given us a lot of flexibility in a very easy package. Stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of videos on their bass plugins because I have those too. We're actually going to do a whole video on that. I believe this session was actually recorded using that. We just printed that out so it's not on here anymore. And uh, obviously we're going to be checking out Heavy and Fat, uh, the other virtual drummer software. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is Jeremy Tail in the DAW and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.